The process of making an arrest involves the apprehension of an individual by a law enforcement officer or other authorized person for the purpose of bringing that person into legal custody. Here's a general overview of how an arrest typically works. Probable cause. Before making an arrest, law enforcement officers must have probable cause, meaning they have reasonable grounds to believe that a person has committed a crime. This can be based on observations, witness statements, or other evidence. Identification and approach. Once an officer has identified a person they believe should be arrested, they approach the individual and may identify themselves as law enforcement. The officer will communicate the reason for the arrest and the charges if known. Advisement of rights. After identifying the individual, law enforcement officers are required to read the Miranda rights, which include the right to remain silent, the right to an attorney, and the warning that anything said can be used against the individual in court. Physical restraint. In most cases, the individual is physically restrained to prevent them from fleeing or posing a threat to the officer or others. This may involve handcuffing the person. Transportation to custody. Following the arrest, the individual is transported to a law enforcement facility, such as a police station or jail. During this time, they may be searched and personal belongings may be confiscated and inventoried. Booking process. At the law enforcement facility, the individual goes through the booking process, which includes recording personal information, details of the alleged offense, and taking fingerprints and photographs. The booking process creates an official record of the arrest, detention, or release. Depending on the circumstances, the arrested individual may be detained in custody until a court appearance or released on bail, which is a financial arrangement that allows the person to be released from custody in exchange for a specified amount of money. Initial appearance before a judge. In many jurisdictions, the arrested person must appear before a judge shortly after arrest for an initial appearance. During this appearance, the judge informs the individual of the charges against them, their rights, and may decide on bail conditions. It's important to note that arrest procedures can vary based on jurisdiction and the nature of the alleged offense. Additionally, law enforcement officers are expected to conduct arrests in accordance with legal and constitutional standards to protect the rights of the individuals being arrested.